Hello everybody, I would just like to do a video talking about some family issues I'm having. My mom, I think, is an alcoholic. She used to drink a lot more when we lived in Maryland. Uh, it started when my dad um, cheated on my mom. And I guess to, you know, drown the pain of it all and get through it, she drank. I first noticed there was a problem when she was drunk every night and she used to keep a bottle of wine or and a glass next to her bed. I mean, come on, people. Let's be real. Is that normal to keep a glass of wine, a, a bottle of wine and a glass next to your bed so that you could just drink when you get in bed? I mean, that's kind of like weird and every single night. So it got worse. Now, I, before that, I was a little kid. I don't recall her being an alcoholic before that, but she might have been. Um, my dad, he holds his liquor better. So he could drink like two or three, maybe four beers, and he's not feeling it that much. Whereas my mom drinks like one beer, one glass of wine, and she's feeling it, plus she fills her glass of wine pretty high. Um, she gets goofy in a bad way. She starts fights with people. She gets emo like in a bad way. Um, she's a nasty drunk. And... When we moved to, well, first of all, let me skip back a little. My parents got back together again. And it seemed like my mom's drinking got worse when they married again. And my dad would take her out to happy hour and she would come back all stinking drunk and start issues with the family and whatnot. And this went on till we moved to Florida and when we moved to Florida she kind of curbed it I don't know why but she was drinking like only on the weekends when they would go out to happy hour and to see bands during the week she would not drink and she would go to bed at like 7 o'clock at night right after dinner um, and this went on for years I mean I, we've lived in this house it's going to be 9 years in June and this went on that long. And then, I don't know if it was like COVID or whatnot, but I think COVID started her drinking heavily again. She started drinking really heavily. And the hurricane happened two years ago, about not quite two years. That got her drinking heavily again. And then my sister Karen moved in and she started drinking heavily again. So just little things like just progress. And now, I don't know how long this has been going on, but it's been a while that she, she drinks every single night of the week. Um, she starts before dinner, and she's drunk by dinner. And it's kind of annoying. And I at first I gave her some shit about it and told her, look, you got a problem, you know. trying to Not because I'm trying to be a bug, or because you're trying to fight with her, I, I'm worried about her. My mother had a stroke, and I know it was from smoking, but her father died basically because he drank his whole life and had a stroke, a massive stroke, and then was a vegetable the rest of his life, and then later on, his organs failed, every one of his organs, all from drinking. And even after the stroke, he kept drinking, like, and uh, all I knew of him, since, since I was a, a little a little guy, was he would sit there with a beer in his hand, and the beer was shaking, and he was shaking, you know. And he, I heard how they talked. He didn't really talk that much. He just drank and drank and drank all day. Now, my mom doesn't do it all day. This is like a nighttime thing. But, I don't know, maybe it's just me. I don't think it's normal to get drunk every single night of the week. You know, maybe if you're going to have like a couple of glasses of wine or a glass of wine each night, 
but don't get drunk on it. But to get drunk every night of the week just seems really excessive and dangerous for your organs and stuff. My mom is 70 years old. She's not getting any younger. She already had a stroke. I wouldn't think getting drunk every night of the week is a good idea. And I'm really wondering when she's going to the doctor, will they find something? She goes to a retina doctor because when she had the stroke, she, she had retina problems in her eyes. And are they going to find something? Are they going to find that the drinking is causing her retina to be bad and she's going to go blind or something? But truly, truly, the reason I, I'm talking about this is because I'm worried about her. And I don't, and, and also, I don't get drinking. I don't get the whole concept. F free to do what you want. It's a free country. But if I want to get a natural high, I'll list to some Dinosaur Jr. in my room and just relax. I don't get why people feel the need to freaking get drunk and get high when you could get a natural high. People do not act flattering when they're drunk and high. You might feel good. It might feel good, like physically, but you're, it's not flattering. You look, you look embarrassed and you look retarded, you know? Sorry for that word, but I, I, you do. You look retarded when, you, when you're drunk and high. And do you really want to be like that? Do you want to live your life like that? And, and do that? I mean, I'm not holier than thou. I'm not, you know, I'm, a, I'm not a Christian. I'm a Buddhist uh, slash agnostic slash I believe in the force from Star Wars. But I do believe that to live your life for alcohol or drugs is not the best way you can be living your life. There's better ways to live your life. Drink water. Drink unsweet iced tea. Um, heck, even Coke Zero, as bad as it might be for you. There's nothing in it. It's not going to cause your health to be bad. Um, drink juice. You know. Um, there's all kinds of stuff you could you could drink and eat and put in your body other than drugs. Um, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm just a square, so to speak. You know. But that's just me. And I'm worried about my mom. I'm seriously worried. And I, I hope... I hope that something comes to light. A doctor tells her you need to stop or you're going to do damage to your body. They did that with smoking and, and she quit. So so that's good. She quit smoking, but now she's drinking like a fish. And I'm really, really worried about her. And um, everybody, if you could just say a prayer for my mom or give me some advice on am I overreacting should I calm down about this or do I have a legit beef that I think she has a problem and I'm worried about her so anyway I gotta get back to my Yankee game Yankees are winning 8-1 to one in the 7th inning of a doubleheader we won the first game by a run so we'll see where that goes but uh, uh, I will talk to you guys soon and please give me some feedback in the, in the comments here I would love to hear it, and I'm not telling anybody how to live your life. If that's what you want to do, that's great. You know, but it's just my feelings on it. I don't agree that people need substances to make them feel better when you could do it all naturally. You know, skydiving. You know, skydiving, music, um, going mountain climbing. All things that do things with your endorphins. Bike riding. Long range, long, long distance bike riding. Um, walking 50 miles just for fun. You know, or whatever. I know I got to walk 50 miles on his 50th birthday. You know, so. Anyway, that, that's going to be it. Um, may the force be with you. God bless and. Happy Saturday, and have a great night. Sweet dreams, everybody.